This video will show you how to install the DOP instrument and realize your first measurement. The first things to do is to check the power supply line voltage. Then you can plug the electrical cable into the instrument. Insert the USB connector into the laptop and then switch on the power supply switch which is located at the back of the instrument. A red light should be lighting. Double click on the UDOP icon to start the software. If everything goes fine, the profile counter located at the bottom left corner should be running. Now the probe can be installed. Each probe are identified by a label located close to the BNC connector. This label mentions the emitting frequency and the diameter of the piezo. Please note that the color of the BNC is also linked to the emitting frequency. A blue one indicates a 4 MHz. Plug the connector of the probe cable into the connector mark channel 1. We highly recommend to use a probe holder. This maintains the probe in its position, allows to know precisely the value of the Doppler angle and enables repeatable measurements. Now the probe can be inserted in the channel. Be sure that no air gap may exist between the end of the probe and the water. Also, the axis of the ultrasonic beam should never be perpendicular to the flow. For any new measurement, we highly recommend you to use the default parameters. Then, we will enter the parameters that fit the application using the assisted mode. The first thing to enter is the emitting frequency that corresponds to the probe, which is 4 MHz in our case. Then, you will enter the sound velocity which is 1480 for water. The Doppler angle which is defined by the probe holder is 70 degrees in our case. We would like to measure from 5 mm up to 80 mm. Finally we will define the velocity scale. We highly recommend you to use the maximum value in order to see and avoid any aliasing. You see now your first velocity profile. As you may realize, velocities are negative, which means particles are flowing in the direction to the transducer. Let's define now a better value for the velocity scale. It seems that 500 better fit the application. We will move a little bit the record panel in order to have a better view on the velocity profile. And finally, let's move the origin on the velocity scale in order to give more space to negative values. The velocimeter is now continuously acquiring profile. The time between profile is displayed in the status bar and the profile counter show which profile is measured. Let's apply a filter on this profile. You can select between two types of filters, the moving average and the median filter. Let's select the moving average filter and let's average 50 profile. At any time the user can stop the acquisition process. In the record panel it is possible to visualize and select only a portion of the acquired profile. Let's store the selected portion. A NASCII file can also be generated and a comment that describes the file can be included. Please note that the binary file contains all the functioning parameters. Thank you for watching this video.